Well, how do their jumps? Right, well, I'm inside of No Man's Sky. Hopefully you can see what I can see. Now, this is going to be very raw gameplay footage of me just showing you my actual experience inside of VR. I did a review of No Man's Sky in VR and what I felt about it. Now, that video has been picked up with mixed feelings, I think. Well, when I say mixed feelings, I've only really had one sort of sort of comeback really and that's it's a hundred times sharper i mean the text is far more readable and yes it is far sharper you know before it was a little bit blurry it's far more crisp the foveate rendering works especially when you're inside of a base inside of your station inside of the nexus inside some sort of confines on my freighter but when i'm on planets i'm having very mixed different feelings with it so okay so this is this is quite a lovely sort of i mean i've got this going on at the moment and look, if I recenter, I'm pressing the recenter button now. Okay, that's recentered. As soon as I start walking, it happens again. A lot of people said, Captain Steam, you just need to press the recenter button. No, it's still broken, as you can see. Now, this planet here is a, a planet that rains a heck of a lot. And when it does, sometimes my textures go weird. You see, like this one's gone all black. I mean, that cuff should be red there. It goes red when I put it right up, but then occasionally it will just go black and it loses all of its textures like so. And also, as I'm going around this planet, um, I I'm losing frame rates. I mean, look, I mean, you can clearly see that that tree, as I'm going around, look at that. It's like 10 frames per second there or something. It it's jarring. Like, did, 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 did. And other people have said, well, check your settings. Well, I've gone through a lot of my settings. And to be honest, I think, I think I've got my settings about perfect to be honest so if i go into there you go a recent view on here as well so i did a recent view there let's just close it down again and look you can see there so i've even used the recent view button from the settings but let's go into here then and let's go into general let's go into general first of all music's all good that's all fine that's all good that's all great and lovely jubbly all right fine um, let's go back a level Let's go into accessibility then. What do we got here? VR. Okay, VR HUD distance. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's all fine. People said disable the motion blur. I don't think I've got motion blur as a freaking option. Hazard effects, 100%. I mean, maybe I could turn those down. Maybe get rid of some of this rain, I guess. I don't know. Um, hold down, uh, hold confirm. I've, I've got everything how I want it, to be honest. Oh, hold on. What's what's this? Oh, okay. That does 100%. I thought it might take me onto another page. I thought I might have missed something. Okay, controls. We've got all this. Smooth. Yeah, this is this is how I used to have it on the old one, and it was all great. I don't see any blurring effects here or motion blur effects. I don't think I'm missing anything. Head relative. I guess that's right controller relative head relative yeah um okay fine um that's that's pretty much all i've got there so i haven't got anything else to change any graphical fidelity in here i'd, I'd change my actual view in a bit in a, an appearance modifier and get rid of this body that's bouncing up and down in front of us but as i turn you're going to see that like you, you see the how it's sort of it, it's hard to explain. It just feels very sort of jerky. It feels like it's losing frames. And it's very sort of jarring. That's, that's the only way I can really explain it. I mean, if I go to a completely barren planet, it's as smooth as butter. But on a planet like this, it's it's very sort of d d d d d frame by frame. It's, um, I mean, it's not like I'm super bad. I mean, if I turn very quickly, you're probably going to notice it a bit more. But when I'm on the Nexus or when I'm in the station, it's actually as smooth as butter. I haven't got any other options I can really play with. And I'm, all I'm getting is praise for this. People are telling me, Captain Steve is amazing. And yes, the distance draw is amazing. I mean, I can see for freaking miles. That's vastly improved. If I look at this bush right here, look how sharp it is. It's really freaking detailed. It looks amazing. But what isn't amazing is when I'm moving at speed and trying to actually play the game. If, if I'm in here just for a relaxing experience and I'm moving super slow like a freaking snail, then yes, I agree with you. It's fine. It's fine and freaking dandy, mate. But as soon as I want to actually play the game and start actually doing stuff on a planet that's weathered like this, 
it's a little bit jarring. I, I, I can't, I'm not going to lie. You know, this is my, my experience with it. And maybe it's just my personal thing. Maybe it's got something to do with my eyes. I don't freaking know. But um, I'm just trying to let people know out there that it's not as perfect as people are making out. Now, or for, for me, it's not as perfect as people are making out. Right, let me see if I can just grab that. Okay, let's take on off. And uh, my desk's there, so... Whoa, Nelly! Now, inside of ship, okay, when I was on planet, I was getting that jarring noise. But look, look how smooth it is now in my ship. Huh? And when I look at the planet, though, look, it loses frames. But, 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 go up here, smooth as freaking butter. Go back down to the planet. Look at that, look. It looks like it's losing frame rate. If I could have a frame counter on here right now, I'd bet you it would prove my freaking point. But anyway, let's let's fly on up into space, because it's not just the swamp planets, but they're the worst. The swamp planets are the worst. But I went to loads of planets. I had one comment that really peed me off to say, oh, there was no effort in this. I played for about three freaking hours before I put together that 10 minute freaking review. And I cut out a lot of the footage because I didn't really want to show all the um, the bad points. I just wanted to focus on some of the positive. But I just pointed out that the frame rate has took a little bit of a beating in favour for this super fidelity. And trust me, it looks so much better inside of here as well. I mean, I'm just going to recenter my view a bit. Um, let me just get dead centre. There we are. But yeah, everything in here is great. I mean, I can't see my body in this view. I'm just seeing my hands. But yeah, maybe I could turn the body off. Maybe that might have been an idea. Anyway, let's let's head on over to the station. Let's head to the station rather than the Nexus, because I've done most of my video in the Nexus before. But let's head on over to the station. And in the station, it's freaking smooth as you like, as well as inside of the Nexus. Both really super smooth. Anyway, let's engage my pulse drive. If I can remember which button it is, there we go. And we're off. I mean, oh, it's so cool just looking around your ship as well. It feels very immersive. Okay, right, let's um, line this up as best I can. I'm still not exactly great. Woo, fudge and heck, there we go. We got in somehow. My hand was stuck then. Right, let's uh, jump on out of here. And this is all as smooth as you like. I mean, I can move my head around and I can tell that the phobic rendering is doing what it's doing and even the eye tracking, if I leave my head, head, head where it is, but just move my eyes. I can feel that, the, you know, the peripheral has gone a bit more pixely over here now. I've got very good peripheral view. Maybe that's part of the problem, you know. I've got really good freaking 2020 vision. This is jarring. I mean, I mean, it's beautiful. A lot of people have said that they've seen like explosion effects where they see like um, big boxes come up. To be honest, I haven't used my multi-tool all that much. So I'll go do that in a moment. But what I will need to do, first of all, is just get rid of this bouncing body on the screen. Because if it's annoying me, I'm fairly sure it's going to be annoying you guys that are watching right now. So let's go on over to this then. Let's just change my appearance modifier. I've got a save defects. I mean, a, a save sort of outfit. So let's choose that one. Yes, there you go. I'm now back into my normal Captain Steve affair. Let's jump out of here. Yes, I want to save this to settings. And now when I walk, look, I've got no bouncing body. It is just the new autophage bodies that have got the problem, or at least that's what I've found so far. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I played for three hours. Obviously, I can't test the whole game in three hours. But what I have tested and what I have done is gone to a few different planetary types. And I've seen whether it's just one planet. I mean, look, on here, look, if I turn, no frame rate loss at all. It's as smooth as you freaking like. Now, a lot of people that I've seen hitting up PlayStation VR have flown their ships, walked around in the station, and only done a little bit of planetary exploration. Frying your ship, going in the Nexus, and going inside the stations, everything is really cool. I mean, sometimes when I move a little bit fast, you're going to get a little bit of a, a blurry sort of double out outline on stuff. But that's fine. I can deal with that. That's fine. That's not going to upset me in any way, shape or form. Hello there, chappy. <laughs> this never gets old. This never gets old. Right. Anyway, let's head on over to um, the portal. Let's jump on over to another planet. Um, I'll show you one that is, is a mixed bag. I'll show you one that's a mixed bag, people. So if I go down on here, droid, crack and scroll, everything farm, living Look glass. Look how farm. crystal clear this is inside of here. Yeah, quite nice. I mean, as I'm turning, look. I've actually, I am losing a couple of frames, but give it a second. And um, it does smooth itself out, or it did do the last time I was here. It's not doing that now. This actually looks worse than it did the last time I came here inside of the base. Let's go outside and see how it is. Ah, that's why. There's a storm here right now. 
And yeah, look. Look at that. Bump, 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 bump. As soon as that storm clears, I'm going to get better frame rate. But right now, right here, the frame rate is... I don't... I don't feel that's acceptable. I mean, you know, if, if you do, you do. Um, I don't. Okay, right. So let's um, let's uh, change my. Uh, there we are. The bolt caster. No. Uh, what do I want? I want uh, just a normal laser beam, please. Yeah, mining beam. Let's go mine some stuff. Because some people said that when they mine stuff, sometimes they're getting these big pixeled blocks appear. I'm not getting that. You see, it's very mixed. Even though they're on PlayStation VR, they're saying they get weird particle effects, like um, big boxes come up. And I've seen their videos, and they do. But mine's actually okay. I've got a different problem. So I don't know. I, well, you're not on different versions. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if I'm standing on a cliff or something. Let's just try recentering my view again. No, it's, it's kind of like half my chest is sticking out. I don't know what that's all about. Let's try that again. It's only since I've put this multi-tool on, though, isn't it? Look, I can move my head back. It, it feels slightly off-centre again. It feels like I'm losing... Something weird's going on there, anyway. Maybe I shouldn't just look down. OK, well, let's, um, let's zap a few more things. I won't zap that bug. But, yeah, it, the distance draws a lot better. The popping is a heck of a lot better, even at speed. So, before, when you used to play in VR, as you run, all this sort of stuff would be rendering in. And it would be in freaking eye shot. Now, you can go a little bit further before any of that sort of happens. In fact, I'm not really... See there you go. I just saw it there. There's a pop in there. You see here, that look, the grass is rendering before I got there. It used to be a lot worse than that. That's vastly improved. And the distance draw, the amount of distance you can see, is brilliant. And if you're going in a straight line, it's also really smooth. That's quite smooth. If you've got the actual function on where you move your arms to run and you're moving in a straight line, it's great. But as soon as you put on slow turn, and as you start to slowly turn, that's where I'm seeing the problems. So maybe it is down to my settings, but what I'm trying to point out is I had these settings before this update, and it was smoother when turning. Now I'm losing frame rate, and it is only on planets that are stormy or got water, or like this, with rain, you know? And and that's that's where the problem is. I'm trying to identify a fault so Hello Games can get on it and fix it. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not really seeing any particle displacements like, that, like that the other chap was seeing. I mean, that all looks groovy to me. That all looks fine. It's the turning stuff that I've got issue with. And, yeah, to me, it just feels a little bit j jarring. In fact, not just a little bit jarring. You see, I'm trying to downplay it now to come across a little bit more positive, but it's hard to be positive about it when I don't want to play VR in the way that I like to play VR in this game at the moment. I mean, if I turn my head... Look, I'm not getting any frame rate loss when I'm turning my head side to side. No frame rate loss. That's great. That's fine. It's when I turn my physical body, that's when I get the frame rate loss. Hopefully Hello Games can work out what's causing it. But that is really freaking jarring on slow turn. I don't want to put on teleport mode. I don't want to put on the, the hand to walk mode. I mean, I don't know whether this works with D-pad. I could get rid of the move controllers and swap to D-pad. Maybe that might cure some of these issues. Maybe I need to do a little bit more testing. If I go to another planet where it's got no atmosphere, let me show you inside of a, a no atmosphere planet. And I'll show you the difference if I can get up on that freaking staircase. That's another thing I'm not very good at, turning in the air, people. Jetpack control for me with move controls is a bit horrendous. Yeah, maybe maybe I do need to swap to D-pad and just give up with these, but I love using these. That's a the problem. If I go to the Kraken Scorpion base, I mean, it's not quite barren, but it's a lot less busy than the one that we just went to. It doesn't have the storms. It doesn't have a lot of um, foliage. It's quite a simple planet. This one's kind of like a mid rangey type one. Um, so I haven't actually been to this one, so let's just see how this one does. But I've been to airless worlds. Airless worlds are far better. But at the end of the day, you know, all planets should run smoothly on a next-gen console, and it's just a bit of a shame for me at the moment. I did want to jump in. I did want to sing the praises of this. You've seen my full review, hopefully, of, of the whole update, and I've sung the praises there. I mean, look at that. That's That's quite smooth. When I'm turning now... That is smooth. I mean, I just saw one little skip there, but that I can deal with. And again, I've got that sort of like little mini haze to turning, but that I can deal with. 
and look i'm not losing any frames this is quite okay okay this is quite smooth but on planets where there's weather effects and there's quite a lot going on nested planets nested planets are pretty heavy on frame rate drop okay so this this is tolerable and most of the planets in granted are like this aren't they until you start going to like activated idiom or activated emerald planets that's when you've got a problem i mean i've even got a lovely base here you know i've got no problems here this, this is pretty cool um i don't know what's going on with my body again now it's like my arms are shrunk or something but uh, let's uh, let's uh, pick up uh, another multi-tool. Let's just go for a different multi-tool for a bit. Let's try this one. Okay, cool. And let's uh, get that multi-tool out. Boom, boom, boom. See, uh, again, particle effects seem fine to me. Uh, mining beam. There we go. Cool. So yeah, that all looks great. So uh, I haven't got that problem at least. And look how how awesome that looks. Look how how well rendered that is that is so smooth i mean that is crystal clear super sharp reflects all the light i mean look there's my torch look look at that how cool is that you know you can't do this in flat mode this is freaking awesome so there's so much that is awesome don't get me wrong this is a this is a step up when it comes to distance draw and clarity and sharpness what isn't is the frame rate when turning on smooth turn that really needs some attention and that's the way i play vr okay so if your way of playing vr was vastly worse than it was prior i'm fairly sure you'd have something to say and i've got something to say and as soon as i say it i've got people telling me no captain steve you need to do it this way you need to no i just want to play vr how i was playing it before without it sort of tearing my experience to shreds okay and that's pretty much the general gist of it that's all i'm saying i'm not i i just want it to be improved and i'm trying to give feedback to get it improved i'm not i know you all love the game i love the game too but if i can't play it in vr in the way that i want to play it in vr and the way that it should work in vr technically speaking i mean yes i could turn all these settings differently or tune it into how you've got yours but if somebody told you oh no you need to go on smooth turn because that's the only version that bricking works I'm, I'm fairly sure you'll be like no one no. i've been playing it this way and i like it this way you know oh come on go faster there we go i'm trying to work out which button it is there we are head on in but yeah all the actual signs all of this cockpit of the ship player areas like this the stations my, even my freighter base smooth as butter it's when i go to planets that have got storms or um lightning coming in rain even just like rain light drizzle that really does does the uh, game no favors uh that's that's when the problems start i mean in here look at that look at look at the difference look how smooth that is and you, you can't tell me that it was that smooth on those stormy planets people it just isn't it just it really isn't okay uh let's uh, fly on up here i'm not sure if i can make it come on heck yes brilliant that was pretty cool right oh hello you all right guys yeah doing good <laughs> it is freaking awesome it really is cool inside of vr i mean don't get me wrong it's so hard i'm trying to be balanced i'm trying to be honest with what i'm trying to tell you guys i don't know about you guys but all of my um all of my thumbnails have gone all squiffy i haven't checked in flat mode really i mean i mean look at them they're all they're all spannered really aren't they there okay um i'm trying to think of another base that i could go to that's that might be a good one to test out uh oh i did say about the infested planets didn't i let's have a look see if i can find my infested lush where there you go infested lush we go there now the infested planets are quite busy when it comes to flora there's all these entanglements there's giant worms that pop out every now and again and again it's hit and miss with the frame rate sometimes the frame rate's fine and then other times it starts to tank and i don't really know why but at the same time it's something it's an observation and i honestly think that it's it's an observation that's worth reporting um so that's that's kind of where i'm going with this people i know that i'm i'm rambling a bit and i'm repeating myself a little especially on these warp scenes because i'm just trying to pad stuff out i might edit those out i don't know i mean look how look how cool that looks okay I'm just looking around my head super freaking awesome even if i turn my chair slightly and go outside my periphery oh hello there exo you're right there buddy everything is great look at the grass look how sharp that is 
That is freaking awesome. But look when I'm walking. Even if I'm just looking down at the grass where I am now, it feels like it's it's not 40 frames per second. It's below 40 frames per second. It's probably, well, low, lower than 30 frames per second, I should say. And at the moment, look, it's crystal clear here right now. When I'm turning, it's it's losing frames. That's ah, losing frames. I was just about to say it's a lot smoother because we haven't got a storm in. But no, actually, that is losing frames to the point where it's like... Duh, 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 duh. I, I, let's leave my hands up. Look, I'm going to focus on my hands. So hopefully the foveic rendering... Actually, that, that feels a bit better looking at my hands. But for you guys, you're probably seeing frame drops in the background. And I am. I'm seeing frame drops. And it, it's quite jarring. Again, if I go in a straight line, though, that's actually doable. You know, no frame loss. And I can move my head around. No frame loss. As soon as I start turning, that's when I start getting the, the frame drops. Especially on complex planets. Even this one that hasn't got storms on. I, I, that's all blurry to me. That's, that's just... No, it, it makes me feel slightly ill and I don't get motion sickness. So that's that's kind of where I'm going with this, people. It's hit and miss depending on planet, depending on weather, circumstances as well. Um, it's far better in sharpness. I mean, that is freaking crystal clear. I mean, it's not the best texture in the world, let's be honest. But um, it's like these sort of bushes and these ferns and everything. I can see every single leaf on that. That is as sharp as sharp can get. It looks freaking beautiful. If I just stand here, the game's great. Fantastic. This is amazing. This is beautiful. Yeah, looking around like this with my head, not moving, which is what I'm seeing a lot of VR players doing, in all fairness, or they've got that move version on. I mean, look, even my shadow's going. It's freaking awesome. The immersion level is, is up to the nines. It's only when I start turning like this that everything goes a bit blurry. I feel like I'm losing frame rate. And it's on some planets, not all. But it's, it's definitely there. I'm not imagining this. And it's to the point where I actually feel worse than when it had the update. I mean, before the update, for me, the game played better. It didn't look better, like, clarity-wise and pixel-perfect-wise and distance-draw-wise and pop-in-wise. They're all much better. But what isn't good is this. The whole... How... That's not good, okay? I, and, and that's what I'm reporting on. That needs to be looked at, worked on, fixed, is what I'm trying to say, people. It's just... Yeah. And for people to say, oh, Captain Steve, you didn't really give it a go. That was very low effort. No, I played for hours. I went to lots of different planets. I showed you VR at its best for me, okay? And maybe it is the way I'm playing. Maybe it's my settings. Maybe it's my own fault. But it was better previously in turning and stuff like that. But you're quite right. When it comes to clarity, I mean, look at I can see before it looked a little bit like you had Vaseline in your eyes. It doesn't look like that anymore. It is crystal freaking clear. It is beautiful now. Um, but it's just not beautiful the whole time when turning. That That's pretty much it. Anyway, people, I think I've, I've proven my point. I think I've done what I need to do. So I'm going to be ending off now, people. So let's just take this off for a second. Oh, it's good to get out of there, to be honest. And uh, jump on over here. Let's make myself a little bit larger on screen. Hopefully that's all captured okay. I know I didn't really get a start to this video. But yeah, I've got the Guildford meetup tomorrow, and I'm actually up at one in the morning making this video. Got a long drive tomorrow, so I hope it's well appreciated. I hope it's well received, and I hope it sort of quells or dampens the flames that I've put out there because people didn't like my VR review, even though I kept it as plain as simple as possible. I thought a lot of people would be reporting the same, but no, I guess they got their settings different or dialed in different or play differently than me. Anyway, until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.